Exercise is just so fascinating. You know, it's been known since the ancient Greeks that physical activity is good for you. Good for cardiovascular health, good for your muscles, it's good for many diseases. It's very well known to improve learning, memory, it helps with depression. Everybody, they're just trying to get fit, and in the meanwhile, they're improving their brain health. And despite all of that, uh, it's just remarkable how little we actually understand about how exercise works at a basic, molecular, basic science level. We wanted to see what was changing in the blood, so like what was being released and going to circulation in the blood with exercise. The novel molecules and pathways that are good for our brain health. It seems like so obvious, but at the same time, I guess no one really took a look before from this kind of chemical perspective. So how did we start um, looking for these molecules? Um, well, John had this crazy idea. We wanted to look at exercise. Let's start with the simplest, shortest form of exercise we can do in the lab. And so we put mice on treadmills. And we basically took their blood before and after exercising, and we were able to like identify this one molecule that was changing. And then after the mice, well, we looked at humans on treadmills. We looked at racehorses. We looked at sled dogs. They all dramatically increased their levels of this one molecule that hadn't been studied before, LACV. When we uh, treated mice with LACV, they started to lose weight. LACV was a powerful appetite suppressor. So there is an area of the brain that is responsible for food intake. LACV was able to act on the neurons in that area of the brain. We were wondering if LACV had other effects on the brain. LACV seems to regulate various aspects of learning and memory and cognition. As we think about the modifiable risk factors for brain health, exercise was one of them, right? And it turns out that there's a few other ones. Uh, one of them is diet. I started to work in a parallel project looking at molecules generated in a diet in which carbohydrates are restricted. And then we found this family of novel metabolites which are structurally very related to LACV. So we call this family ketone metabolites. These ketone metabolites basically are able to suppress appetite in brain, which is the same function that we have found uh, to be happening for LACV. The enzyme that produces the LACV is the same enzyme that produces the ketone bodies. Besides exercise and diet, there's sort of a third arm of modifiable interventions for brain health, and that's pharmacology. One of the medicines there that's been most well studied is a drug called metformin. People have been calling it a wonder drug. So when it first discovered, it was trying to cure like diabetes. There's been a growing appreciation that metformin also has positive effects on brain health. So we first got some blood samples from diabetes patients. Very surprisingly, we found in those patients who took metformin, they show a significant increase of lack fee levels in their blood. These three very different things, exercise, and diet and metformin actually seem to converge and induce the same type of chemical and molecular processes in our body. That tells you there's something really important, really conserved, really ancient here about what you're studying. So this work is now supported by the innovation grant of the Knight Initiative for Brain Resilience. Without this support, we wouldn't be able to do all these cool studies on exercise. It's very hard, generally, to try to get support for this kind of work because you're not approaching it as a traditional neuroscientist. I am a pharmacist. I was like really interested in exploring like how could I contribute to generate new drugs that could be like improving brain health. It's my hope that our basic science discoveries here will serve as a foundation for potential future therapeutics that might, for example, be able to hijack this pathway and augment it from the point of view of developing a medicine to improve our brain aging.